Hey guys, it's Debbie with Driftwood and Shine. Tonight we are going to take this piece of wood. and It was given to us, but whoever bought it got it for 50 cents at a yard sale. Awesome buy, by the way. So let's get that part cut off. And I don't think I'm going to undo the rope. I think we'll just try to paint around it. Okay? But I have these beads here. I'm not, not far enough over. Sorry. I have these beads. Y'all don't pay attention to my cabinet door that's missing. One of those things. Okay, we're going to take some painter's tape. I'm just going to turn it back on itself like this and we're just gonna lay it down yeah um, I'm on the screen okay we're gonna lay it down and we're just gonna put our wooden beads down on the tape and that's how we're gonna hold them tonight to paint them Hopefully I can get them all on here. I didn't count them. I don't know that I have the exact right number anyway. But we're just gonna we're just gonna paint what I got out. And we're gonna hope it's the right number. Tonight we're gonna make what I'm calling floating hearts. Y'all know I like to do crazy, so it's just looking outside the box and we're doing floating hearts. And y'all notice I got my old crafting table in here um i got the boys to help me move it yesterday so and i've got a whole bunch of hearts laid out here as you can see oops one more bead hmm just putting them the best i can it's okay if they're a little off now I'm just going to use regular old acrylic paint, apple barrel acrylic paint. And I am going to use this brush again, but I'm just going to kind of pull it and see if I can get any loose hairs out first. Because I have so many of these brushes, guys, I cannot, I cannot not use them. <laughs> okay. So I'm going to get me some paint out here. And then I'm going to squirt me some water. Remember I told y'all always have water on your craft table. We're just going to paint it. It won't be a solid full coverage, but that's okay. I'm going to try to paint around this rope. I could have taken it off, and I probably should have, but we're not going to. I'm going to paint around it. Okay. And I'm not painting the side of my board. I will paint down in the crack just because some's already painted, so we'll just go ahead and paint that. Okay, then I'm going to use the same paint and just paint my beads. And I'm not I'm use, I, I chose to use this, guys, so that it wouldn't be like a, like a complete solid color. Because, you know, these little chip brushes, they don't get everywhere. And that's fine with me. Okay. Now we've got, let me, I'm going to, oops. Got one hair off. I'm going to just get a little bit of this paint off. 
so that I can dry it. Because it, even though I used water, it still got a little thick. Probably putting it on my shirt. Okay, got that done. Now let's dry this right quick. Now we can move on. It's going to be quick, though. The drying's going to be the longest part. Y'all, please share it out. Um, starting tonight, y'all share it and tell me that you drifted it into whatever town you live in, whatever state. And then, um, if I remember, before I get off, I'm going to scroll back through and stop on a name. And if they say drifted, then that'll be the name that's going to win this. We're just, I'm going to start giving away some of this, these crafts that I do. Because I'm, I'm getting so loaded up. And so we will ship this out. Um, I'll probably wait and ship it. Monday, just so it'll have time to um, kind of cure before I try to wrap it and pack it, because I don't want I don't want your paint coming off. It's not completely dry. Those seem drier than this, but we're going to stop. That'll be good enough. Now we're going to take a sanding sponge, and we're just going to rough this up. We're not going to, I'm not going to distress it with other paint. We're just going to distress it with a sanding sponge. Because, and that's a good thing that this paint is not completely wet either, I mean dry, because it'll come off easy. And see, I'm just, I just want it to show some wood, and I'm doing all the way across. I want some of the wood to show all the way across. But I'm kind of really concentrating on these edges. Going a little bit more on my edges because I want my edges to really be, to show a lot of wood. Although this wood is light and really it's not going to, it's going to be hard to, really tell it from the white paint. Plus it's a little bit rough wood. So, whoops. But you can see a little bit. See where it's rough around the edges. Okay. And that's all I want to do there. Now I'm going to take my sanding sponge and hopefully they won't come up off of the and I'm just going over the tops just to rough these up a little bit too. Oops, that one don't want to stay where it was. Just to rough them up just a little bit. Now, the next step, guys, is literally going to be I'm going to leave them there. They're not in the way. <laughs> this black shirt's really showing. Okay, the next step is listen. It's in the eye of the beholder. It's based on what you want to see, what you like. I'm just, I'm just going to place some hearts, see what we like, then we'll go about gluing them down. I just want them to have a kind of floating look. And I'm using, see, I'm using all different shapes. And I'm wanting to go underneath. So it's going to be, it's going to be a little hard. I should start, you know what, let me start from the top. Save my big ones for the bottom. Let's start from the top. I don't want that one there. Okay, he'll be our top little guy. 
and then it's still going to be over. Well, it's supposed to be over. I'm talking to myself. I'm just talking through it, guys. Talking through it. Can't even pick up these things. And they're going to be different. We're just going to have to determine how we like them. Just kind of a conglomerate of them. And as I go down, now I'm going to get a little bigger and, you know, come out a little bit more. And the only thing I'm trying to make sure is that you see the heart, that you can tell it's a heart all the way through. And I do want them kind of hanging off a little bit. I'm telling you, it's just going to be in the eye of the beholder. However you want yours to look if you make one of these. And you can use any round, guys. I'm just using the one that somebody gave me. But use any of them. kind of like that okay now it's just going to be have to oh, I didn't turn my hot I didn't turn my hot glue gun on that's great sorry I had to get up and turn my hot glue gun on well I'll tell you what let's just go ahead and we're going to glue down our beads, because we've got this laid out, so now we know, I know where I want my beads to go. So now I'm going to glue down my beads. And all, this is all I'm going to do. It's really simple. Use this wood glue. Because I am shipping it. And I'm going to put my bead right here at the top of where I have that, that last little thing. And I'm not going all the way out to the edge. Because when I decided to leave my rope on, I decided to just go right along the edge and leave about that much. Y'all please share this out and remember to tell me that you drifted. Or you shared, whatever, and then what's your, the name of your town and the name of your state. And I'll try to remember to flip through it tonight, but y'all know me, I'll probably forget. I get to talking and then I forget. Guys, tomorrow I'm going to tell you, for any of y'all that are thinking about going to the retreat, or for those of you that have already purchased your ticket, y'all be looking in the morning, we're going to make an announcement in the morning. That's going to be really cool for those of you that have already paid and the ones that are thinking about going. It's going to be an incentive. Um, and I've got something else to tell you about. I told y'all that I was had something else in the works. I've got two other things in the works. So, y'all be watching tomorrow. I'm not going to tell you tonight because I want to be with Sonny. I want us to, whoops, to get together and do it. But y'all be watching. What's everybody done today, man? We, we uh, went and got the flowers for Carrie's wedding so I can get them done. And guys, somebody misunderstood and said, well, um, 
something about Miss Debbie's wedding. Miss Debbie's not having a wedding because Miss Debbie don't even have a bow. You know, and you need a bow to have a wedding. So, no. No wedding for me. Sonny was just joking about that flat, not, you know, just making a funny about that flower being my color and then being so pretty. And she said, oh, these can be for mamas. And that would be great. <laughs> and Lord willing, one day, maybe that'll happen. But not right now, guys. Not right now. Not happening now. And I am putting wood glue on these guys. Normally, I would use hot glue. But since we're going to ship it, I want it to settle, you know. Whoops, I keep knocking my... My heart's off. I'm not even gonna know where to hot glue them at. But I want them. I want it to be stuck down real good, so that when y'all get it, it still is pretty and stuck like it's supposed to be. <laughs> Look here. I'm just about, just about guessed right, guys. How about that? I'm going to have one bead left over. That's pretty good. Pretty good. Pretty good figure. Wow, I like it already. Now, let me see if my glue is hot enough. Yeah. Now, I am going to hot glue these down because I don't, I don't even want to try to. Now, I'm just going to slide them up. So maybe I can halfway remember where they went. And we'll just put quite a bit of glue on them so they'll stay. I'm going to hope to remember, guys. I'm going to just hope I can remember where I was putting them. Oh, this glue is acting crazy. Okay. That one has a bad place, so we'll use this side. Whoop, about covered up the place where it showed that it was a, a heart, and I don't want to do that. I want that to show for sure. See, some will be up and some will be down, because like now I can kind of push this up under here like this. There we go. Now, hopefully, uh oh. See, I don't know. I know. I just okay. I'm gonna try to push it up under there without getting my hand all in that hot glue. There we go. Look there. I did it. Whoops. Now I'm knocking everything else up. I'm probably going to have to put some wood glue on these two, but we'll worry about that if it looks like it's not going to stay. I don't know why I took the time to place them because I'm probably totally off of where I was going to put them, but that's okay. We don't care. We don't care at all. We just don't care.
Oh, I should have been gluing these from the top down, I guess, guys. Let's just go on to the top and come back. Because I know I want my top one right there. We'll just go with it like this. Part of it's because I just painted this, guys. And remember I told y'all, paint does not stick well to, I mean, hot glue does not stick well to wet paint or any any surface that's a freshly painted surface. It just doesn't stick well. Okay. Well, that's good enough. I think I want something right here, though. gosh, I about. Did y'all see that? I about burned myself. I sure did. About did it. That is cute, guys. Look. Floating hearts. They're just floating right on up that circle. I think I, I think. Let's see what it looks like. Because I'm thinking I would like. Let me see what it looks like when I hold it up. Nah, it takes it too far out. No, we'll stop right there. There we go, guys, our floating hearts. And these will set up because we used wood glue on them. These feel, they feel pretty sturdy now. They do have the wood, the, the groove of the wood to get into. Now, a few of them's loose. I'm going to go in and put some wood glue under the under those. You know, so they'll have, be able to settle down. But see, even from the side, you can see kind of how they're floating. Isn't that cute? So cute. I like that. Keep just looking. I think he's too big. We got one of them. I'm just looking, guys. I'm just looking. Oh, yeah. I like him right there, though. There we go. Our floating hearts. All right. Remember, y'all have to say drifted and the name of the town and state that you're from. I'm going to talk just a little bit and give y'all a little bit more time to do drifted and the name of the state of where you're from. Drifted to St. Paul, Minnesota. Drifted to Charlotte, North Carolina. Whatever. Okay? Or shared whatever i don't i don't really care what word you use but um for those of you that don't know anything about the retreat let me talk about the retreat a little bit the retreat is going to be september the 28th 29th and 30th of 2023 it's going to be held in dothan alabama at the hilton garden inn the room rate is 119 plus tax it winds up being 134 something i think 72 but i can't remember exactly it includes three um, buffet dinner uh, lunches. It includes um, kind of a continental type breakfast. It'll be like cinnamon rolls, um, danishes, fruit, that kind of thing. It includes all the crafting supplies, including all the paint, everything. Anything we use to craft with, it includes that. And for $50 extra, the cost is $5.50, $50 extra on Wednesday night. We're having what we call a VIP fellowship meal where we're going to have a special speaker. We're going to have some testimonies. Miss Nakia is going to sing for us that night. And um, then we'll have a buffet meal that will be prepared by me 
and Sonny and Kelly. And Kelly's also going to do Kelly with the Sugar Shack. And she's also going to do a cooking demonstration that night. And guys, let me say this, because I know we have, we have caught some flack. <laughs> but we've added a day. That means it adds a meal. It adds, I mean, there's stuff added. But... Me and Kelly and Sonny, I mean, this is our business, guys. We can't do things and completely lose money. But also, I know it's not for everybody, and I, and I apologize for that. I wish we could have a completely free one, and Sonny has got some stuff in the works where maybe we can later on. I don't know if it'll be 2023. Hopefully, it'll be 2023, but we'll just have to listen by ear to where we can go to different towns and say, hey, we're going to be here. Y'all want to come and if we can find a place big enough for people to come and then that'll be way cheaper. That would probably be like, you know, just enough to cover the craft and supplies and um, maybe pay for our motel room and the gas to get there. We'll see. But I don't know about that. But the, I'm going to tell y'all, the retreat, for those that were there, I think they'll tell you that it was awesome last year. We had so much fun. We had, we run out, we plum run out of time, guys. We couldn't even get everything accomplished that we were wanting to, to do. There were lifelong friendships made. I mean, I can tell you, people touched Miss Kathy Landis, Miss Annette, Miss Kathy Howard, Myrna. I mean, Mickey, Angie, Han, Miss Christine. I mean, I can go on and on and on. Another Miss Christine and Miss Kelly and Miss um, Tina Moore. And there were so many guys that were there. Miss Hensley, they, Miss Virginia, they, guys, there's so many. Nakia and Nakia. I mean, there's just so many. And it was so fun. I mean, we, Miss Elise and Miss Val. We just had so much fun. But this year, guys, I'm going to tell you. I'm going to just go ahead and share with you. This year, last year ain't going to be nothing compared to this year. It is. We have got so many things already planned, and we still got nine months to be planning. But we've got so many things planned. It's. I just can't even hardly wait. I'm so excited. So excited. It's going to be... It's going to almost feel like an encouragement conference. I mean, we're going to be jam-packed, and we're going to be on the go. Not on the go out. We're just going to be in that room, like, electrified, I guess. I don't know. It's just going to be so much fun. We are thinking about a couple more crafters. Guys, we, um, Kelly wants Terry to come. Y'all know that because Kelly loves Terry. We all love Terry, but Kelly and Terry are best friends. So we may have uh, Terry there again. She said the other day she thinks she might come, so hopefully she'll come. And we've got one other person that we're going to um, ask and see if they would be interested that's pretty close because, um, you know, we don't want to tie up everybody's time and whatever, but... I'm just so excited. Guys, I am so excited. And like I said, I know it's not for everybody. I know that. But we are still, I mean, I can sit here and name retreats that cost more than ours. And not only by big people. I mean, some big people, but some just normal people like us and some that don't even have, not even as big as our page is. But it's because people just want to get together. They want to meet everybody. They want to make lasting friendships. They want to um, just fellowship. And I'm so excited. I am really excited. And if you can at all possibly come, I'm going to tell you it's something you ain't going to want to miss. <coughs> you are not going to want to miss. And we will be sharing with Sonny. I don't want to give a time because I don't want to give a time because I don't know what time tomorrow. But um, what we'll do is We'll try to um, put out a post. So y'all be watching. We'll try to put out a post and say, hey, we're coming live at blah, blah, blah time. And then y'all can hear um, the incentives we've got. And through January the 31st, you can still make eight payments. After January the 31st, um, 
February the 1st through March the 31st, then you can make six payments. And then after that, it'll be um, full pay, or we might, we might add some three months if, if anybody wants us to, but we'll see. We'll see. But I'm telling you, it's something you ain't going to want to miss. I'm so excited. So excited. It's going to top last year, I can promise. Our room's smaller. People will be able to see and hear this time. And, yeah, it's going to be great. I'm so excited. But anyhow, okay. Y'all have had enough time. We're fixing the scroll. So, here goes. And you have to be on to win now. I didn't say that earlier, but you've got to be on here. And hear your name tonight. And then let me know. Give me your address and all that stuff. So, y'all be... Here goes. Here goes. I'm going to close my eyes. Well, I ain't got to close my eyes. I can just look up like this and keep my hand here, and then I can't see anything. Uh-oh. Comments went away. I, I did too fast. Okay, that one didn't. Didn't share. Miss Narissa Yates drifted in Honaker, Virginia. Narissa, N-E-R-I-S-S-A. Narissa Yates. Miss Narissa, you make sure you get us your address. Send it to um, admin, A-D-M-I-N, at driftwoodenshine.com. Narissa Yates. But y'all be watching every, every live when I can remember. But even if I don't remember to say it, every live y'all on, make sure you say you drifted or you shared to wherever. And if I don't do it while I'm live, I'll do it after. But I'm going to start giving away at least one a day of the crafts I do. Now, today, I'm only doing one craft because we got home late. But, um, you know, some nights I do three. And who knows? I may give away all three. I don't know. But it'll just be however the mood strikes me. <laughs> but y'all be watching because we're going to be giving away. But you have to share. You have to drift away. You have to do whatever you want to call it. Okay? All right, Miss Narishla Yates, you get some floating hearts. All right, guys, I love you, and I'll see y'all in the morning, 9.30 a.m. Eastern Standard Time for devotion, all right? Love you guys. Bye.